Hi, this is my ninth lecture. In this lecture, we will be seeing DDL languages. In previous lecture also, lecture uh, sixth, I have uh, discussed DBMS languages, right? DBMS languages I have explained already, but queries I have not explained. Only theory part I had explained. In this class, we'll be I'll be explaining with the queries like how to open your software. I'll be using Oracle to execute my DBMS queries. I'll be using Oracle. So in this Oracle, I'll be showing how to execute these commands. DDL language. See in DDL language, uh, we have uh, uh, commands like uh, create. We'll be studying create command. We have alter command. We have rename, truncate, and drop. Right? We'll be studying these commands in DDL languages. So let's start with the first command that is create command. What is the use of this command? Create command is used to create the table in your database. Remember this command will help us to create the tables in your database. So I'll be explaining syntax first then followed by the example right then it will be easy it will be easy to understand first i'll explain syntax means how to write the queries then with the example i'll show here see as we have discussed Hi students, this is my ninth lecture. In lecture 6, I had explained DBMS languages. I hope you all remember. That time I had explained only the theory part. But in this lecture, I will be explaining with the help of the software. Which software I am using? I will be using Oracle software. In this software, I will be executing this DBMS languages. Which all languages we all have studied? DDL, DML, TCL, DCL. All these languages we have studied. But two more we have studied. SDL and VDL. Most of the time we will be using only. Uh, actually we use only these two more. Compared to others. So let's start with the DDL languages. In DDL languages, which all commands we have studied, the basic one is um, and the most important is create command. Then we have alter command. Then draw, truncate and we need to study this rename. These command we need to study in this lecture. So let's start. The first one is create command so what is create command or create query this command will help us to create the tables as the name suggests create command is used to create the tables what is database actually a database is a collection of your tables right so create command will help us to create the tables so this will be syntax. In for every command, I'll be explaining the syntax as well as with example, I'll be explaining. So this is your syntax. Create. It's better to write everything in a small letter. Create table, table name. Open parenthesis, column 1, column name 1, 
data type which data type you are using for that particular column and size for particular data type you need to define the size for that so followed by the comma next column name next data type which data type has to be applied then size like this you can have n number of columns and n number of data types for every column name column name is nothing but attribute attribute in last lecture only i have explained what is attribute right attribute is the property right so for column and attribute both are same attribute name and for this column you need to define the data type so don't forget the syntax then close the parenthesis and then semicolon semicolon is must every query has to end with the semicolon so this is the syntax to write the create command so this is the example i have written create table table name i have taken here student only the basic and the simple table i am explaining so i have not taken any unique or in any primary key foreign key and all in database this primary key and foreign key plays a important role in it in next lecture i'll explain what are these but before that we'll study what is how to execute a queries and we need to understand the languages commands so simple i'll show first so this is create table table name i have taken here as student student is my table name row number is my column name right student has which all attribute the basic one is row number address phone number his name which course he has applied all these are basic one so whichever you want you can take as a column names here i have taken only three row number name and phone number row number data type is int name data type i have taken here as char here the size has to be defined so 20 i have taken int you don't need to uh, write or define the size for it and phone number again int integer kind of data type you are using so this is how you create the table in your database shall i show you let me show you the um, how to execute the query go to start i have already installed oracle tenchi oracle database tenchi go to database home page then username you have to write and password you write while installing your software itself it will ask you the username and password so we'll log in to that then go to sql sql commands here you have to write the queries and here you will execute it so let me take the create command i'll show you the execution path control v you need to select it and run so here you have created a table table created so how how it will be sure here you have created the table right how does it look in a database this is your student table three columns i have taken one is roll number name 
and form this create command has just created the structure of your database still you have not uh, written any inserted any data into this so how do you check this in a software for this you have to execute one query the esc your table name again select this and run here it will show dsc means description description of your table will be shown student roll number name phone number data type which i have taken integer it has taken as number character length i have specified as 20 so this is the structure of your table this is how you uh, you can understand which all columns you have taken table name is this clear create command next we have alter command alter command also comes under ddl so ddl is what ddl is let me take the pen alter command is command used in ddl language what is the help of what is the use of ddl language ddl language helps us to uh, work on the structure of your table we won't be able to write any data into the table using ddl language whatever no uh, a modification you want to make for the particular structure of your table that you can do with the help of ddl language so alter is one of the command we use in ddl alter table is used to add delete or drop or modify the columns in the existing table alter table what it does you can add or you can delete or drop or you can make a modification to the existing table using alter command so one by one we'll see alter add how to add a new column into your existing table see in this student table i have taken roll number name and phone i have already created this table right and later i i i will get to know that i need two more columns like address i want and uh, date of birth of the student i want to store in this student table then what i'll do i'll use this alter command to add two more columns into your existing table add is used to add the columns into the existing table sometimes we may require to add additional information in that case we do not require to create the whole database again see uh, in this i have identified that i i want two more columns like uh, address and uh, date of birth right i have forgotten to write this details so date of birth i have used what i have to do i simply use the alter command instead of deleting the whole table i'll just use alter command and add two more columns into this so this is the syntax alter table table name add keyword you have to use open parenthesis which all columns you want to add that you identify here you specify here column 1 data type 1 size like this close the parenthesis semicolon see alter table student add address address is your column name where care is your data type date of birth i have used date date is one of the data type in dbms let me show you in 
the software control C just check here only three column name I have used here control V you need to select this particular and run table altered can you see table altered now you execute description of the student here you will get two more columns to your structure can you see roll number name phone number address and date of birth this is how you add the columns using alter command clear next we move to drop drop is simply a deleting a column if at all you don't want particular column in your database you can use simply drop keyword in your alter drop column is used to drop the columns in a table deleting the unwanted columns from the table this is the syntax alter table table name drop column column name now i don't want date of birth column in my student table what i'll do alter table is a keyword table name is student i want to delete the date of birth column from the student right so student drop column dob so shall we see this we'll see Control C. Here you write. We'll be deleting particular column table dropped. Now you execute this query and you will get to know. See a date of birth is missing here now. This is alter table drop. Next we have modify. If you want to change the particular data type or uh, size, if you want to change, then you will use modify keyword. It is used to modify the existing column in a table. Multiple columns can be modified at once. This is the syntax and this is your example. Alter table table name. Modify is a keyword which column name you want to modify that you have to specify here. Modify column name, column type. Just check here for address. I have used varchar2. Can you see? Alter table and address. I have mentioned here varchar20, but I want to make it as character instead of varchar so what i'll do is alter table student is your table name modify address from varchar to character control c just check here address here you have written it has taken varchar c right now i have changed it to character Table alter execute. See ya. Address it has taken character. Clear. Next we have drop. Drop is used to delete a table. Whole table can be deleted. Drop table table name. So my table name is student. This. I will explain in um, at the end because once I delete the table, I won't be able to perform any task. So drop I'll show later 
as of now you understand drop command is used to delete a whole table from your database drop table table name is the uh, syntax next we have truncate truncate what it does is see here you have written a you have written a structure for a table for example if i have added here the data 1 to 10 i have 10 students and i have inserted the 10 student details in it like One, two, name, Akash, Adi, I have I think phone number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Address I will take as welcome so if i want to delete the data from the table i want the table but i don't want this data i want empty table then what i'll do is i'll use truncate table truncate statement is a ddl operation that is used to mark the extent of a table for deallocation means it will empty the table for reusability. The result of this operation quickly removes all the data from the table. Truncate table table name, truncate table student. As of now, I have not written any data into a table. See that inserting a data comes in DML, data manipulation language. So in the next lecture, I'll show this truncate, how does it work? Now you just make a note of this truncate table student. Then the data will be vanished. We have one more rename. Rename is used to rename the table name or you can rename the columns. This is the syntax alter table table name rename to new table name alter table student rename to stud i don't want student i want it uh, the table name as stud so let me show you i'll just copy this query i'll be changing the uh, table name as stood table altered now if you execute this query it won't work because you have changed the table name here right i'll show you It will show table doesn't exist. Object to be described could not be found. If you write it as stood, I've changed it to stood, right? You will get the same column name, scroll number name, phone number, address. Clear? Then the last one is column can be used. See. How do you change the column name, alter table, table name, rename, column, old column name to new column name. I want to change the phone as contact number, alter table student, rename, column phone to contact number. This I will execute and I will show you. See here, I have used phone. Now, by executing this query, 
it will rename sorry i need to change the table name stood right table altered right now you execute this see ya phone column has changed to contact number clear if you like this video like share and subscribe one more thing drop query i'll show before closing this drop i will delete the whole table draw table stood right semicolon execute this table draw if you execute this description of stood object is not found you will get this truncate i will show in next lecture so thank you